how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we will be taking a look at the android 13 beta 1 this is the first beta that i have received on my pixel 5a and in this video let's check out what are the new features and changes that has been made with the android 13 with that being said stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started so the first biggest change that I have noticed is when I go to wallpaper and style. Previously there were only 4 basic colors that you can choose. But now they have added a lot of new colors and there are 12 different palettes to choose from. Not only this, when I go to basic colors, here I have got 4 more pages and now we can also choose 12 colors which is a great thing. So now whenever you change and apply a brand new wallpaper, you can go to wallpaper and style and select any palette of your choice. I'm glad Google is still working on automatic theming and they are adding more colors to choose from. Another change that I have noticed is the media notifications now has a unique playback progress bar. Whenever you play a song or a video, instead of showing you a straight line, now as you can see you have got this niggle line as the playback head which I think looks really really cool. You get this unique progress bar both in the lock screen as well as the notifications shade. The next useful feature that I found in Android 13 is when you copy anything. Let's say if I copy a text, you can see we have got this thumbnail at the bottom which is similar to a screenshot thumbnail. Once you tap on the edit button, it takes you to this page where you can add some extra text like this or you can just share it to anyone by clicking on this share icon. Apart from this, when you copy a link, you can see I have got this option to open it in Google Chrome. So the clipboard editor has been added in Android 13 which is extremely useful. Next when I go to settings, then to lock screen. Here I get this brand new option that says control from external devices. It is disabled by default but once you turn it on, what it does is, it allows you to control all your external devices directly from your lock screen. So now you don't have to unlock your phone just to have control over your external devices. This option is not available in Android 12 but now they have added this feature. Another minor change that I have noticed is whenever I lock my phone, as you can see there is a text at the top which says enter your pattern or enter your pin. Previously it was not there but now they have added this one as well. Now let's talk about the app drawer. I am not sure why but they have removed the system wide search and replaced it with the google search widget. So now when you search anything, it only shows you the google search results which is not a great thing. I hope google brings back the system wide search with the upcoming beta releases. Now let me quickly show you the build number. If I open my quick settings. You can see the build number start with tiramisu, it's tpb1.220310.029. So finally they have added the android 13 name in the build number. Next if I go to display and then to screen saver, now if you want you can disable the screen saver option. Previously it was not there but now they have added this toggle. So if you don't want to use this feature, you can go ahead and disable this option. Finally when I go to settings, about phone and tap on the software version. I don't see any new easter egg for android 13. We still got the same android 12 easter egg but I hope we will get it very soon. Now let me show you the animations. I think the animations feel smooth and nice and as of now I don't see any new animations added with the android 13. So that's pretty much it. These are all the new features that I found so far with android 13 beta 1. Let's hope google adds some more exciting features with the upcoming beta releases. So that's it for this video. If you guys liked this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr android and I will see you guys in the next one.